Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pants. Today we'll be cooking Singapore style clay pot fish. So let's start cooking. Now we are going to marinate our fish. I have with me over here half a snapper. This is approximately one kilogram. Score it so that it's easier to marinate. Add in one tablespoon of light soy sauce, half on each side. Then to the other side, do the same. One tablespoon of Shao Xing Jiu or Chinese cooking wine. For our Muslim friend, you can omit this. Same thing, half and half. One tablespoon of young ginger juice. You can just grate young ginger and squeeze out the juice. Same thing, half and half. Now the ginger is to actually enhance the flavour as well as get rid of any fishy smell if there is. One teaspoon of salt, same thing, half and half. Sprinkle it first. And a few dashes of white pepper. On both sides too. Rub all the marinade in. Do the same for the other side. Traditionally for this dish, we use fish head. But in this case, I'm using the body over here because for younger people as well as kids and even older people actually this is actually a very good dish and they prefer a little bit more flesh so this is what I'm doing right now alright we'll leave this to marinate for 20 minutes in the meantime we'll go and deep fry our egg tofu now we're going to deep fry our egg tofu I'm using my 32cm non-stick wok from Shogun by La Gome. this is part of the Midori series heat up oil using medium heat add in your tofu one tube of egg tofu approximately 150 grams kinds of pieces like this Slowly and gently put them all in. Do not move them around. We need a crust to form around the tofu so that later when we braise them, they will not break up that easily. If you do not want to deep fry them, you can of course shallow fry them. But later we are going to deep fry our fish. So might as well just deep fry everything. I'll show you how they look like in a while. Once they're in for about a minute or so, just gently move them apart. Of course, if you want, you can coat them with some corn flour, but I don't think that's necessary. Once you have fried them for a while, you'll check whether they are brown or not. Let me show it to you. So something like this will be good enough. So let's just turn the other pieces to the other side. Be very careful when you do this. Just brown the other side and after they are brown, we will just remove them from the oil. So when both sides are brown like this, that means they are done. We will now remove them from the oil. Do not turn off the heat because we don't want the oil to be lodged inside the tofu. Just gently scoop them up. We just set them aside and now I'll show you how I coat the fish with flour. Now we're going to coat the fish with flour. Use a clean dry plate. Spread a little bit of all-purpose flour or plain flour. Now some of you might ask, can I use corn flour, tapioca flour, etc. You can, but my preference is still plain flour. Because plain flour is not that starchy and later we are going to thicken the sauce up with corn flour. So plain flour will be the best. Take the fish, just put it down first and spread some of the plain flour over the fish. The plain flour will serve a few purposes. One, it will not splatter when you deep fry it. Secondly, it will make this crispy. Third, it will absorb the beautiful sauce that we are going to make later. But cook it up well, right? Shake it off to the other side again. Now later, we will just pat this down. Just sprinkle lightly the flour. We don't want the coating to be too thick. Make sure you coat every side very well even the tail part itself now a little bit of flour inside the cavity of the stomach same thing just pat it in a little bit now if you like inside the cavity or so you can pat a little bit of flour inside here once you're done with this we'll just rest this for 5-10 minutes before we proceed to deep fry it i'll see you back in a while now we we'll proceed to fry our fish using the same oil and wok now we're going to test whether the oil is hot enough or not using a bamboo chopstick, just put it in. If you see bubbles starting to rise like this, that means the oil is hot enough. Using medium heat, we'll fry our fish. Shake off any excess flour. Alright, be very careful when you do this. Do not move the fish around, we'll fry them on each side for about 4 to 5 minutes. I'll show you how it looks like in a while. 3 minutes is up, let's have a look. A crust has formed already, as you can see from here. We'll just flip it to the other side gently. Always flip it in the 
opposite direction right this is what we want very nice golden brown color have some contact on the tail with the oil also if you do not have enough oil you can always use a scoop scoop some oil and just pour it over the tail The fish should be about 70-80% done already. Later, we'll just braise this in the sauce. We'll now remove it from oil. Very careful when you do this. Right. We'll now set this aside and prepare to assemble our dish. Now we'll put our dish together. Heat up your clay pot or your wok. I'm using the Churi Oriental by La Gome, a 3-litre clay pot. You can use the oil that we used to fry the fish with, a good amount of it. The good thing about using a clay pot is once you're done with the dish, you can serve it immediately with the clay pot. And it keeps the dish very warm, which is very good. Once the oil is hot, add in your ginger. Add in one thumb size of ginger. Young ginger slice very thinly like this. Put them all in. Add in one yellow onion. You can use red onion if you want to. Slice thinly like this, one whole piece of it. them up. Add in four pieces of dried mushroom which I've rehydrated. Cut them into halves like this. Put them all in. These are dried Chinese shiitake mushrooms. Now we add in our roast pork. 150 grams. Cut into pieces like this. Now if you are making this dish for your Muslim friends, then do not use pork. Mix them all up. I got the roast pork ready made from the market. Now we add in our garlic. Three cloves of garlic, chopped up, put them all in. Just mix them all up. We can smell the beautiful fragrance coming out from here. We'll add in our spicy broad bean paste. One and a half tablespoon of spicy broad bean paste, put them all in. Add in half a tablespoon of soya bean paste. Mix them up well. Now we'll add in water. Pour in 1.2 liters of water. Just pour them all in. Mix them up well. Add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of chicken stock powder, and one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Give this a good stir. And now we're adding our carrots. 20 grams of carrots, sliced thinly like this. Just put them in. Now we put the lid on and wait for this to come to a boil. I'll see you back in a while. Once the stock has come to a boil, we add in our fish. Gently add in our fish. Wow, beautiful. Add in also 160 grams of Beijing cabbage. You can spread them around or just put them at one side, no problem. It's really up to you. Add in your egg tofu. Just move the fish, the veg and the tofu aside so that you can put the lid on. Put the lid back on and we'll just braise this for another 5 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. 5 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Wow, look at how beautiful this is. We'll now give this a taste to make sure that it's savoury enough for us. Mmm, very delicious. The saltiness is just nice for me. But if you want it saltier, please do add in a little bit more salt. I'm just going to add in half a teaspoon of sugar just to balance up the taste. It's going to be so good. Lightly stir. And now we're going to thicken it up with cornstarch solution. Slowly pour some of the cornstarch solution in and thicken it up. Stirring as you pour the cornstarch solution in. Thicken it to the consistency that you like. It's so beautiful and tasty. Now we add one bitten egg. Just pour it like this. And lastly, add in one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine or Sao Xing Chiu. For our Muslim friend, you can omit this. Alright, turn off the flame, put the cover on, and we'll proceed to serve this. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. <sighs> Smells really, really good. Let's give the fish a taste. Mm. Very fresh. 
You can taste the sweetness of the fish. Egg tofu. I love egg tofu. After you deep fry it, it absorbs the sauce. This is really beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And now it's your turn to cook. See you. Bye-bye. Wow, this rice is fantastic.